what's cracking guys excited for today's video i'm getting to do something a little bit different um, we actually just got the bass cat back we've been doing a bunch of kind of routine maintenance on it this summer so i haven't got to go fishing much but today we are going to be a boat captain on lake mille Lacs. going to be taking out a couple uh, boys from the brainerd team we're going to see what happens it's it's blowing pretty good out there you guys can't hear it so hopefully it's not too rough out there for them but just looking forward to it. it should be a nice little change of pace something different to do and i've actually boat kept in a couple times it's a fun time uh it's fun to watch these boys learn watch them compete and, and kind of get to relive the experiences that i've shared through my youtube and and uh been able to experience in the past so we're gonna see how it goes guys you guys stay tuned this is the satt on lake mille Lacs. they're gonna have to work for it um, nothing's ever given on mille Lacs, so see what happens Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got, what's your name? Ashton. Ashton. Hunter. And Hunter here with the Brainer team. We're about to get after it here, headed out to Mille Lacs. So like I said earlier, it should be a fun day. We're gonna see you guys at the lake. All right, so we made it out here, finally. This tournament starts at seven. And we got on the water at 7.10 after it's a little bit of complications this morning. For some reason, I couldn't get on pad, which is a, something I've had happen a couple times now. Thought we had the problem fixed, and I don't know. We came over here after I tightened everything up with a prop wrench, and I was able to get on pad, kind of easing it up. So just glad we finally got out on the water here for these boys. But their tournament's from 7 to 2, so they're out here getting after it now, and gonna see what we can make happen we're not really able to fish the areas that we wanted to now but figured we'd play it safe and run to the calmer side just in case something happens we'll be able to get back no matter what so the joys of fishing right there what's been going down we're hour and 40 minutes into the tournament got on the water 10 minutes late it's been a heck of a morning no fish no fish in a lot of ways. Yep. Ran around, tried some of these spots, and uh, there's just way too much wind on this stuff for it to be comfortable, even for like me fishing. I mean, there's ways to catch them and fish the fish, but it's pretty tough. So we're out behind an island right now, a little more protected, but we're probably about to make a move, get over somewhere where these guys can do their thing a little bit easier and, and see what happens. But yeah, it's, it's been a slow morning been tough. Not a lot of people around us. Most of them are like deep V walleye boats, but we're gonna have to pull something together. I know these boys are ready to do it, so I'm ready to see them do it. I hope you guys get a bite on one of them. That'd be nice. I know, there's gotta be a fish. I mean, all the bait fish have to be moving in this way. Yeah. That dock looks a little shallow. Yeah, it's pretty shallow. Yeah, but it's might as well cast it anyway. Yeah, that's a boy. Nope. There you go. Yeah. Atta boy. That's the whole way. You have a good yeah. Good job. Take your time. Yeah. You have? No, it's not a thing. No, I had him. I think it was just the dog. There's an apple way. You can. We might end up. Might end up uh, using it later. Get him, boys. Come on. Hunter, are you good at flipping jigs? Yeah. I'm not. You might have to do it. I want. I got second place in flipping. 
Well, you you gotta have. You might have to do it. I ain't good at it. Good stuff. I mean, flipping this edge here is gonna be how you catch a couple of big ones. Flipping, flipping these ball rushes and stuff. So I'll show you where my baits are. Those you can bring one up. Yeah, right in here. Last resort. I hope they count. Couldn't they be good? Do they count? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Really I've seen a bunch of. Maybe do this one here. Oh, I like that green pumpkin. Or I got. And it's got some good smell. I use these all the time. I use those if I were you. Never seen this kind of hook that you're using, but okay. It's a flipping hook. I just use. You'll a know one hook. day. I just use a regular. That's the old flipping hook right there, old straight shank. And then keep your rod tip up high and reel kind of fast so you can scoot it over the top of it so it's not dragging up everything. There you go. Yeah, keep that speed kind of. Like every once in a while I'll drop it into a hole, but yeah. You'll get the, it, it's all about kind of a feeling. And, but with this, the like, general idea is to try, kind of keep that up high and kind of Sometimes I'll even shake it while I'm doing it just to keep it up and keep that head up. And so same thing. Like as soon as it hits the water, engage your reel and start working it. Because <clears throat> basically all it's doing is just attracting them and they'll follow behind it and then you can drop it just like you did in a hole. And every once in a while you will make contact with them. You got this all covered back here good? Yeah. We could probably keep open some more What just happened, Hunter? Got one. There we go. On the board. All right. Slow start. Going through some adversity, but finally made contact. So. Good job, Hunter. Well, uh, these guys are flipping away, trying to catch their second fish. Figure I update you guys a little bit on what's all happened today. And that is actually not a whole lot has happened today except for we tried to run out in the wind and waves a little bit and go try some spots. Um, they had a couple that they wanted to give a shot and it's just way too windy out there. Um, even we were watching walleye boats veering waves so that's when you know you should probably turn around and you know safety is always first in these things. But uh, yeah we're you guys can tell we're out here largemouth fishing now which is something very rarely do on Mille Lacs, but there actually is a pretty good population of them um, and some pretty fun ways to fish too, throwing like a flipping rig or a frog or a swim jig or whatever. So um, just back here out of the wind, trying to do something a little more comfortable for these guys that maybe they'll be able to fill out a limit and then we can kind of figure things out from there. But the actual format of this tour tournament is a little bit different than what most people know tournament fishing by. and it's actually a seven fish limit so that's the same way i had it in high school i guess that minnesota just has so many fish that we can just get away with seven fish limits but they're going for seven fish today i know it's a little strange since most tournaments are five fish so usually the weights in these tournaments are really high just because of that and uh yeah i mean well in general isn't the easiest lake to go out and catch seven so 
we're gonna see if we can get a limit today and, and make that happen. Gotta get that nutrition out here. <laughs> Take a little quick break. About another hour's gone by. They're still grinding out, trying to get that second bite. I thought you were pointing it. Sure, thanks. <laughs> we got the gummies. <laughs> you know you want one, come on. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the day so far, Ashton? <laughs> Pretty slow, tough fishing. Yeah. How are we gonna turn this around? Here's, here's our midday interview. What are we gonna do, boys? What's the game plan? Go flip some reeds or some grass. I'm like four feet of water. Maybe we can replicate that again. They just got done fishing this whole shallow stretch here. And thought for sure somebody was gonna tie into at least one or two, but never did, so maybe it's some false hope, maybe not. We're gonna keep on plugging away. Hopefully they can run into another one here. What are you doing right now? I'm trying to get in here and catch a big one. I like it. Yeah, but my rod's kind of... Looks like, looks like we got some dollar pads and some main lily pads, yeah. a little bit of depth. Looks good to me. Yep. Go in there and get them. You got a little bit of weeds in the bag. Oh, well. Look at Ashton making a mess. Yep. Unbelievable. We have the trolling motor fighting for its life up here. And let's let's take care of that. Keep making casts until you get bit. It's the name of the game. Look at, you just threw grass on me. What are you? What is up with you guys? You're chucking grass at me in the boat now. Am I doing that bad? This is no pressure for me. I just get to watch them fish. Yeah. Not used to this. It is hard. I'm not gonna lie. I've been wanting to flip up a big in here. But watching them, I'm just waiting for one of them to stick one. got just under two hours left in the tournament these guys are doing something they're confident in fishing some docks and and I can't can't imagine they won't catch a few more here before the, the day's over they need six more to fill their limit so we'll see if they can get her done bite's been really tough though overall I think like nine pounds was sitting in 40th place, which I guess is around the cut line to qualify for their Tournament of Champions. So it's very doable, um, but even largemouth, it's just kind of weird out here on Mille Lacs. Most lakes you'd be able to catch a limit of largemouth, no problem. But Mille Lacs, you got to work for them a little bit more. So I'm just really hoping that these 
bass will play nice here in the next hour and 45 minutes and give these guys six more bites. That doesn't look like it's about to pull away. Yeah. All right, guys, so this was definitely not the most spectacular video ever, ever but uh, we're off the lake here. A couple hours after the tournament, we decided to stay out for a couple extra hours and just see if we could catch some more fish. Uh, the last video that you guys saw was when we were largemouth fishing. These guys actually ended up fishing for smallmouth for about an hour and a half at the end, just trying to mix it up and see if we couldn't make that happen because that was the main target to begin with. And it was actually calm enough to run over to some of the areas, so we ended up fishing them, and it never got really any better. It was still really tough, so I don't know what the deal was. Sounds like these guys had some fun still. Ashton said the waves were fun. What, what was the best part about that? Uh, almost flying out of the boat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that makes me sound bad. I didn't even get over 45 today, I don't think. Yeah, one one time I was 60. over, yeah, one know, time I was up to 60, actually, yeah, just, testing out the prop but otherwise it's pretty much 45 or right around there so yeah but it didn't help that they're like four foot weights yeah so yep nope. good day on the water it's fun taking these guys out even though it was a tough day and it happens so that's just the reality of it but we're gonna put our heads down they're gonna put their heads down and get after it at the next one so thanks for watching guys we will see you in the next one Make sure to subscribe, and I'll let Hunter do the sign-off here. Him with something. Go pow or something. Pow. Walk up to it and hit it. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> there you go.